You know what goes well with the main course of video games? A nice side of cartoons. So Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl is a perfectly balanced and nutritious meal of entertainment, washed down with a nice healthy glass of nostalgia. Nickelodeon All Star Brawl is a platform fighter, a genre popularised by the Super Smash Bros series. But in this case, instead of choosing from a cast of classic video game characters, you're instead choosing from a cast of both old and new Nickelodeon favourites. The characters are plucked from the humble beginnings of the Nickelodeon timeline with Ren and Stimpy and Rugrats, all the way through to newer shows such as The Loud House. So whether you're still a kid now, or you're a big kid like we are, there should be a character here that you know and love. TMNT, Cat Dog, Avatar The Last Airbender, Spongebob, the list goes on. As soon as we opened up the list of characters, we instantly started reminiscing about all of our favourite cartoons from the 90s. It was a real trip down memory lane, but it just made it that much more exciting to see what moves they had. I honestly never thought I'd see my pal Cat Dog again, especially alongside the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And let me tell you, he gives those ninjas a run for their money. I mean, just look at them guns. We do feel like we have to answer the question on everyone's minds. Should I like and subscribe? <laughs> yes, yes you should, but seriously though, does this game play as good as Smash? This title does have a smaller budget and it also needs a little bit of polish here and there, but overall we do feel like the answer is yes. Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> While All Stars Brawl does play similarly to other games of this nature, it does do enough to set itself apart and make for unique experience. For example, we found that some of the stages lean far more into the platforming side of Platforming Fighter. The Space Madness stage is a perfect example of this. We spend most of those rounds just trying to stay on the platforms rather than actually fighting. <sighs> the stages do a great job of staying true to their cartoon origins while providing some unique and interesting level designs such as Ren and Stimpy's kitchen and the waterfall from the Wild Thornberries. Occasionally, they even offer some insight into some of the most important events from their counterpart stories, such as the case with Harmonic Convergence from The Legend of Korra. Each character has their own individual and distinctive playstyles, from the moves down to the weight and speed. This provides them with their own personality, if you will, as well as their own strengths and weaknesses. This makes mastering each character a joy and could provide you with hours of gameplay. On average, characters possess roughly 18 moves, and while some of them are a little bit vanilla like a standard punch or a standard kick, this is to be expected when there's so many. Most of the moves, however, do stay true to their character's personality, with many of them being actual references to specific episodes. Imagination. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is playable with up to four players locally or online, but we did struggle to get more than two in our lobby. The online experience did run smoothly overall though, with just a couple of frame rate drops here and there, which does make for viable competitive play. Apart from your standard death matches, there is a mode called Sports, where the objective is to hit a ball into the opponent's goals. While neither of us were huge fans of this, this does break up gameplay a little and was worth a mention. There's also a single player arcade mode where you're able to unlock rewards such as music from the jukebox or artwork. This is a great place to test out fighters' moves and skills before you jump into competitive play so you don't drop your ranking too much while you're learning. The game looks very visually appealing with nice vibrant colours and plenty of life in the background of each stage. It also runs at 60 frames per second for the most part, allowing you to fully appreciate what's going on. Many of these sprites had to be translated to 3D for the first time. We actually had a conversation on Twitch about it and there does seem to be some mixed feelings about their execution, but we think that the artist did a great job of bringing them into the third dimension. We do agree that they can occasionally look a little bit stale and emotionless at times. Take this shot of Spongebob here for example. I guess it can be a little bit of a shock when you've been watching a cartoon religiously for the past 10 or so years and then your favourite character all of a sudden looks a little different. But I'm sure it was quite the challenge to stay true to the 2D characters while trying to 3D model them. We definitely think that the artists did a great job and they for sure deserve some credit. One of the standout features of this game for us was the music. Each level has its own theme song and just like the visuals, the music is sampled from the original cartoon source material, but remixed in order to better suit the fast paced action of Brawl. 
One of our favourites is the theme of the dump stage taken from the R Real Monsters cartoon. This remix takes the iconic scream from the intro of the show and turns it into a hectic trap beat followed by a remix of the closing credits. It's actually a banger. There are heaps of other tracks encompassing a wide variety of genres, so we recommend listening closely when playing. Even the menu music is pretty damn catchy. We always like to give you guys all of the pros before the cons and start off on a high note, but there are a couple of qualms we had with the game. We can't help but feel like the characters lacked a little bit of personality due to the absence of voice acting. We do understand that getting the original actors would have been quite the task, we would have so appreciated any voices at all. I do a pretty convincing Nigel Thornberry myself. Marianne? Uh, Marianne? Marianne? Oh, smashing. <laughs> that's right, that's what he says. That's his catchphrase. Absolutely smashing, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest problem with the game was the lack of skins or colours for player two. We often wanted to have a showdown as the same character, but the only thing differentiating us were the icons above our heads. Player 2 is purple, and I quickly discovered that heaps of the stages are also purple, so we abandoned these showdowns pretty fast. Also, All Stars gives you access to every character right from the get-go. We understand this is a personal gripe, but we prefer to have some fighters to unlock along the way. We feel like this makes the whole experience all the more satisfying and more exciting. However, we do know somebody that tried to pay to unlock all the Smash Ultimate characters from the start, which you can't do by the way. So again, personal preference. Speaking of Smash Brothers, I don't know if it's just the unrealistic expectation that they've set, but I wish there were more characters here. 20 just doesn't seem like enough these days. We're spoiled, I know. Lastly for the negatives, we did experience a few frame rate drops here and there in some of the levels and in some of the online battles. Nothing catastrophic or anything, but it definitely makes the game feel that little less polished. One of the most exciting prospects for All Star Brawl are the developers. Ludosity have promised to pay attention to the community and listen to feedback so that they can improve gameplay for fans. It seems like they have every intention of giving this game some longevity. The devs are actually already looking at adding new updates. Apparently there's two new fighters coming soon in the form of free DLC for everyone to enjoy. Then, in a similar vein to Smash, there's going to be more characters added later down the track in the form of paid DLC. We don't exactly know how many of these we're going to get, but we'd love to see Rocco's Modern Life and Angry Beavers represented. Let us know in the comments below who you'd like to see get added to the roster. We really hope that Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl inspires other franchises to take the plunge into a similar fighting game. Imagine a Disney version of this where Winnie the Pooh could verse Buzz Lightyear. On Twitch, we were even discussing a Cartoon Network version of this game that could cross over with this one later on. Forget Marvel vs Capcom, we all know you want Nickelodeon vs Cartoon Network. In short, yes. Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl is very similar to Super Smash Bros. But yes, it is definitely worth picking up, even if you already own the latter. Whether you're a kid now, or you're a kid in the 90s. Hell, even if you're a parent of one of those kids, there's definitely something here for you. So that concludes our thoughts on Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Let us know if you're planning on picking up this game or have you already had enough of your fighting fix with Smash. Thank you so much if you're still here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.